The Forest. One of, if not my most favorite survival games I've ever played in my small existence on this floating rock we call Earth. Now, when getting ready to make this video, I was actually super excited to play this game again since I have over 40 hours of playtime on the PC version. So to say I expected great things from this game yet again, but on the console port was easy. But boy oh boy, let's just say there's a reason the sequel hasn't been transferred over yet since the game is sadly a bug, glitch, and low FPS mosh pit. My Elgato could barely handle it since it has the most inconsistent FPS I've ever seen on a PS. Five. But the Platinum Trophy itself is even worse. Five trophies are confirmed and well known as being buggy and not working. Cancer. The last time I saw such dissatisfaction with something was when I pulled my pants down. But anyways, the Forest Platinum Trophy consists of 38 trophies total. The first stage in getting these is to just load up the game and last 100 days, which sounds simple enough, but that is actually an insane amount of time played to get there. It took me over 50 hours to get this one trophy and it wasn't even the most annoying one. You begin the forest by crash landing in the forest on an island filled with cannibals and mutants who want to eat you for some breathing. The main objective for this entire game is to save and find your son Timmy who got snatched by this man in the very beginning of the game. I got my first trophy on the first night in the game by sleeping on the yacht which was conveniently enough right next to where my plane crashed. And it was an easy trophy to obtain, unlike the love of any woman in my life. Oh my god! Now since I have played this game a lot before, I was actually pretty good at it if I'm being honest. The next thing I did after getting the yacht trophy was focus on building a base since the cannibals in this game are pretty ruthless. And a fun fact for you all if you don't know already, chopping down trees in this game will cause them to come after you more and more. So if you want to not get touched in the butthole by a bunch of shirtless women who will eat you out, then I would suggest not doing that. However, I'm recently single so I made sure to chop down every tree I could possibly see in my sight in hopes of having a fun time again. These idiots finally showed up to fight me after I had basically built my entire base to a decent enough status and I made quick work of them. Honestly, I'm not sure if they even wanted to fight because they sometimes just space out and lose a chromosome or two in the process. Fighting these idiots sometimes feels like bullying the special ed kid, but once he touches you, it's fair game. Whoa. At nighttime, I was a bit scared to go out of my comfy house I just constructed. So instead, I listened to sad music and watched the sea off in the distance as I fought my demons in silence. Shut up, bitch! But I woke up the next morning and found a bird who was happily enjoying his life on Earth. And I remembered this one trophy in the list, so I crafted an entire bow and arrow right in front of the poor guy and edged him a tad bit before his death. I almost felt bad, but then I missed, so I didn't. I continued to build my base and chop down trees for quite a while, which that is a big part of the game, and somehow it's still fun because you never know when you're gonna get jumped from behind. Quite literally like walking down the street in Detroit. A true game of chance. That's what I'm saying. I saw a rabbit hopping around and the bastard wasn't aware it was an Easter yet, so I shot it and I'm sorry that this game was lagging, but my Elgato literally blew up recording this because the game is just not optimized at all. No, I may or may not have committed mass murder in my free time like a silly goose, but the locals vandalized my home and I was forced to fix it even after just adding renovations. This gave me a trophy for barely being as handy as Johnny Sins. Because I had so much time to spend in this world, I decided to just knock out some easy trophies right away. One consisted of me building a gazebo, which is an odd thing to have as a pre-built item in this game. And I don't know what construction school the main character went to, but god damn is he a natural because it almost made me forget about my kids again. I then knocked out two more easy trophies, one for spearing a fish in the heart, which probably hurt it almost as much as my heart does after my past love life, and another for making a giant wall that resembles what I imagine Donald Trump edges to. We won't talk about the tragic cleanup I had to do after because of my severe OCD. Again, I return to reflect during nighttime, and the thing I love most about my base is that I can just watch the locals scramble around to find their dead loved ones which are currently sitting in my stomach. Nighttime is super fun in this game because you never know when you're going to get lucky. And on this fateful night, I decided to go debunk one of the five bug trophies in the game. Splatter. Just like your girl did all over my- Hey yo! Anyways, the trophy is super simple. Finish off a dude who gets knocked down with a rock. Now I love finishing off dudes Pause. so much that I did this trophy in one attempt and got it. So I'm officially convinced all the people who made this guide are either just dumb or not good at giving head. A little bit later, I found a local village and the Airbnb they had available was such a damn scam, they called in the gray dudes to beat my ass. These are much stronger than the other locals who are more human, I guess. And I'm not trying to racially profile anyone, but still. I ended up settling the conflict by just mass murdering everyone and then chopping them up into tiny bits, and I got a trophy for my serial killer activities. I then began to explore some caves because I got bored of making a house and fighting the same retards who just keep spawning in over and over. This was sort of anticlimactic though for me because I had already seen all these caves before when I played the game, you know, the last time I did. But anyways, I did find a ton of good gear which made me happy for a short period of time until I realized that you didn't like the video yet. 
After exploring all the caves, I went for another buggy trophy where it included you crafting 10 medicine products. And I'll admit that this one was indeed buggy because it popped way after I did 10. But it wasn't like I couldn't get it, you just had to get lucky, and I did. At this point in the game, I actually could have gone to the boss fight and end game portion already, but I still had to last 100 days, which is super long as I've stated before. I did get a chainsaw though, which made chopping down trees a lot more fun than it was before. It's a shame the thing runs out of fuel just as fast as my relationships do. I did get a trophy though for using the compass. Not sure why this is a trophy, but my only conclusion is that they wanted people to use it at least once, since the thing serves no purpose at all aside from telling you the north, south, east, and west. Which I don't know why the hell you need to know what direction you're going in when you're in a dark cave, but so be it. Climbing ropes in this game is like trying to start a relationship with a girl who's mid as f but thinks they Beyonce. It takes forever and makes you want to kill yourself in the process. And by the end of it, you just want to blow up six trees, which is what I did. Another task I did in the process of getting to 100 days before finishing the game was going out and finding all the passengers, which was simple enough once I knew what ones I was missing. And then I really made it my goal to knock out all these quote unquote miscellaneous trophies because I was already getting bored as hell of this stagnant survival I was in. I began by crafting stealth armor, which is the most simple thing ever. And all you need is the skin of a lizard and a small Catholic boy. 23 seconds later, I stepped outside my sexy house and planted all these plant types, which come back at a whopping three for another trophy. That was just as easy as your girlfriend. I then fell back into the darkness like a true villain and ended up in the caves again. But this time, instead of ending more lives, I just wanted to find some new tunes to jam out to and collected all the cassette tapes. I also built that dumb idiot son of mine, his toy, which he somehow lost all the pieces to in completely different places. I have no clue how this can even happen, but kids these days will do anything for attention, so I'm not surprised. The next trophy I went after was called Spelunker, which is sort of hit or miss because you have to explore every single cave in the game, which means walking around every inch of it, and a few of them are very confusing. Especially considering in some of them it's literally just pitch darkness, so you could almost see your own face on the screen and get scared by how hideous it is. But I managed to do it after nutting in my pants, so it was chill. Now that is most of the hard trophies done, aside from lasting 100 days obviously, and chopping down a thousand and trees, which we will get to later. First, I became an advanced fisherman and blew up a pond. Killed the shark because I still have PTSD from the baby shark song, and ate all the mushroom types in the game, but sadly I didn't start to trip so she was still living in my mind. I then attempted one of the most dramatic trophies I've ever gotten to date. It was conveniently enough called Trophy Hunter, and it required you to kill and mount the heads of every animal in the game. There was 11 of them total, but I swear to god once you kill it and have to take it all the way back to your base, it's a ride because you get chased down by mutants everywhere. And at the very end on my last one, I got confronted by Lizzo and she nearly sat on me to kill me. Thankfully. I made it to my place safe and got the trophy pop. Another trophy I think should be considered buggy is called Major Cannibalism. The description is super vague. Eat an entire family. Dude, Jesus Christ. <laughs> now usually a blowy would be enough, but this game barely tracks the people you eat, and I ended up shoving arms and legs down my throat for an hour until it finally popped, which was such a relief. Like when she got a period. Probably the most buggy trophy is called Crafty and it requires you to craft every single item in the game. While going for it, I also got 50,000 steps on the pedometer, which is a weird name for an Apple Watch, but it was a trophy. Anyways, crafting is supposedly super buggy and doesn't always pop for people, but I somehow did it exactly like it said, and by crafting every single item, I got it, and was so happy. But that happiness ended once I realized I now have nothing left to do until the 100 days trophy. During this agonizing time, I at one point tried to get the 1000 trees trophy, but got so bored of that I gave up and saved it to just clean up after. And instead, I just AFK'd in my base for like 35 hours straight while I was watching Netflix and making this video at the same time. I don't have much to say about this trophy except that it simply just sucked. Like it's not really hard to do, but it just takes forever. I actually think it was more of a grind than the kilometer trophy from Dying Light 2, because with that one you can just rubber band it and do it in a good amount of time, but with this one you have to sit there and pay attention and watch and eat and sleep and all that BS or else you'll die, and it's just, it's just awful. Anyways, on day 98, the worm, which is the hardest enemy in the game that normally shows up, came out of nowhere and I saw it out of the corner of my eye when I was watching Netflix. It got into my base and I had to spend like 10 minutes trying to kill it so I could pass time again by sleeping. But once I awoke, the worm had disappeared from the existence of the world and it was day 99 in the forest. I decided to head out and try to make my way to the end game area, which is inside of the sinkhole giant butthole in the middle of the map. I ended up getting there without much trouble, seeing as on console, the game doesn't have enough run power to respawn enemies in the caves, unlike on PC, which I find hilarious. I made my way inside the Sahara Laboratory, and literally 30 seconds in, I apparently passed 100 days, which was amazing because I was afraid it wouldn't work unless I slept again, but it was okay. I then looked up and got coffee, which was another trophy. Too bad coffee and I have a very bipolar relationship, where I would like to drink it, but it tastes like ass and makes me want to shit my brains out. A few seconds later, I also got a trophy for using the vending machines in the game. 
and setting off the fire alarm, which totally didn't alert any monsters nearby at all. After running through the place, we find Timmy, who was the retard we've been after this entire game. And sadly, he is all strung up and looks quite a bit dead. Unless someone has been feeding him for 100 days, I would say he actually is probably dead. But the main character thinks he can still save his dumbass son, so he goes and tracks down the only other living human on the island. It's a little girl, and she looks like she just ate some poop. But that is shadowed down by her turning into a giant monster and us getting to fight her. This fight was extremely easy if you use a bow and arrow and just shoot her with the fire arrows over and over. I would actually suggest not even trying to hit her with anything else aside from ranged weapons because it's simply just not worth it since she'll just hit you if you go close to her. So I beat that little girl up but that was expected and then we had to carry her back to Timmy to see if the machine would work with her. It sadly didn't since we just f***ing killed her. But we did get a key card that allows us to traverse to the control room in this game. Before reaching the final final area however there is a trophy for drinking water out of a water cooler that has a head in it. So the main character is now both insane but also has an STD most likely. Anyways we reach the end of the game and you find out that some dude has been crashing planes here for who knows how long so they can find the ideal subject to put into that machine for some whoever i don't even know apparently it only works for children and to get the good ending we follow in his footsteps like a true villain after some cutscenes and credits we then get a trophy pop for beating the game the forest was once my most favorite survival game ever but after this trophy list i seriously don't want to even look at it anymore since it was so bad instantly after that i went and did the vegan playthrough which was super easy and it took a little bit of time i think it was like 40 minutes or something i didn't really prepare for it well so you could obviously do it better but if you do it in creative mode it is like stupid how fast you can beat the game. I then hopped into a multiplayer lobby with one of my homies from Discord. Once more, thank you very much, sir. You made getting this platinum trophy extremely easy for me. And if any of you want to join in future videos or just talk, you can join the Discord link below. So the final trophy I had was to chop 1,000 trees in one lobby and in one sitting. The game stops tracking the trees chopped if you close the game or lobby, which makes this thing low-key impossible to get if you don't go into creative and just use the explosive traps over and over. I finally got it, and it still took me like another hour to get Get, which was just ridiculous, but the relief I felt when this popped was unmatched, unlike the climax your mom gave me last night.